Okay, this is Unit 4, Day 4 Notes. And honestly, there's nothing new to learn today. This is just putting together our parallel lines with some algebra and then doing a couple more things with it. But this is just what we learned last time and putting it together with some other stuff. For instance, this angle and this angle here, these are alternate interior angles. And we talked about those last time right here on these notes where it's the ones on the inside of the parallel lines on opposite sides of the transversal. So those are alternate interior angles, and we know alternate interior angles are congruent. So we know that they're equal to each other, so our equation is going to be this equals this. This angle is equal to this one. So then all it is is a matter of you need to solve this algebra problem, which is actually even a pretty easy one, Solve that algebra problem, add the 15. We have 95 equals 5x. Divide both sides by 5, and we get x equals 19. If I want to check it, I just plug it back in here, 5 times 19, then minus 15, and make sure that it equals 80, and I'm done. Here on this next one, these are in the same position, so these are corresponding angles where they're in the same position. It's just the same if I slid it over they would match up. If I slide this one down it would match up. So this one is congruent to this one. 3x plus 9 equals 129. Now this one, we maybe haven't seen these before but you saw them in algebra. You just distribute this first. So I have 3x plus 27 equals 129. Then subtract the 27. These cancel, 3x equals 102, divide by 3, and we get x equals 34. And our last one here, these are on the same side of the transversal, and they're also interior because they're inside the parallel lines. So I know same side interior, same side interior, those were supplementary, so they need to add up to equal 180. So I'll have this one, 75, plus this one, 4x minus 9, minus 9, equals 180. If it's on this side of the equal sign, I just put them together. 75 minus 9, 74 minus 9 is 66, so I have 4x plus 66 equals 180. Now subtract the 66. And I get 4x equals 114, divide by 4, and I get x equals 28.5. So that is really not new stuff. It's just putting the angles we had before together with some algebra. Now we're going to have the converse of each postulate. Remember, the converse just means to switch the if and the then statement. So if two lines cut by a transversal are parallel, then their angles are congruent. So when I switch it, I'll have if corresponding angles are congruent, then two lines cut by a transversal are parallel. So I just switch the if and the then. So do that on these other ones. Pause the video and do that for the next three. So you should have paused the video and written the converse of each one. And I paused my video and wrote it. So if two lines cut by a transversal are parallel, then alternate interior angles are congruent. And the converse is also true. If the alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. If two lines are parallel, their alternate exterior angles are congruent, the converse is also true. If the alternate exterior angles are congruent, then I know the lines are parallel. And finally, if the lines are parallel, the same side interior is supplementary, and the converse is true. If the same side interior are supplementary, then the two lines are parallel. So what we're saying is, 
what we did last time where we said if they're alternate interior, then they're congruent. I'm now saying if they're congruent, I know those lines were parallel to begin with. So let's go through this one. And it says, is it possible to show that P and Q are parallel? Well, here, what kind of angles are these? Those are corresponding angles from last time. And it said corresponding angles are congruent. Are those congruent? They are. So P is parallel to Q because corresponding angles are congruent. P is parallel to Q because corresponding angles are congruent. We just did what it asked. <clears throat> what about the next one? P and Q. These are same side interior, and they should, same side interior should be supplementary. Do these add up to 180? Let's check. Uh-oh, those only add up to 170. So these two are not supplementary, so those are not parallel. So P and Q not parallel because, I'm going to abbreviate it, same side interior are not supplementary. And finally here, what are those two angles? Well, those are vertical angles, and vertical angles should be congruent, but do those two vertical angles tell me anything about line P? They don't have anything to do with line P. I can't tell on this one if they're parallel. Cannot tell if P is parallel to Q <clears throat> because vertical angles only involve one set of lines. They only involve this set of lines over here. They have absolutely nothing to do with P, so I can't tell anything about that.